Welcome to the Brant and Sherry Oddcast, sponsored by America's Christian Credit Union. To order Brant's latest book, Life is Hard, God is Good, Let's Dance, or to find out more about the show, go to BrantHanson.com. Here's something you probably didn't think you'd be hearing about right now. Okay. I, Brant, have to go get a couple eye surgeries here real soon. Mm -hmm. Uh, I have cataracts. Okay. Which I now, okay. someone your age doesn't usually Bingo. okay have So cataracts. that made me think, why? I'm way younger than everybody else is in the office. Right, right. Why do I have this? Mm-hmm. Well, like why me? Feeling sorry for myself. Yeah, sure. Like it's just one more thing. It's not the biggest thing. Yeah. But I've had eye problems all my life, multiple problems. And now like, okay, now cataracts at this age, like Yeah. And then I thought, okay, that's one way to look at it. The other way is I'm so thankful I get to have surgeries. What a great way to think about they it. I can yeah. fix it. I'll yeah. be seeing better. Yeah. That's not normal for human human life over millennia. Yeah. <laughs> like, I just I get to get it fixed. So I'm I'm actually really, really thankful. It really is true. All the the news constantly and the takes and opinions just it's it's constant. It's constant. Yeah. It's driving yeah. people crazy. Scrolling everywhere. Everything's scrolling. And it makes sense that it would actually drive people crazy because news, theoretically, the word, well, I don't know if it's true, but the uh -huh. word's supposed to represent N-E-W-S, North, East, West, South. Okay. So where did we get our news uh, traditionally? S travelers. Yeah. Somebody come from that direction? What do you hear? What's going on? Mm -hmm. And people are always interested. What's right. that tra tra traveler just came through the village or the mm -hmm. town? What? So what's the word out there? Yeah. That's how you got your news. In between time, you're growing your garden or you're concentrating. It's on... the thing or the people in front of you. Right. Yeah. But now it's like we have a billion travelers in one room. All going... <laughs> it's a constant. Of stuff we can do nothing about. Yeah. yeah. Like just, it's just, it's just, it's not normal. And I say that because you do want to get to a place and I want to get to a place where we can be quiet and focus just on what's in front of us. That would make us very different. This hit hard today. I saw the headline. A study found that not only do citronella candles not repel mosquitoes. Oh, no. But they tend to attract them. <laughs> that actually explains a lot. Because haven't you been sitting there and they put the candle there in the middle of the picnic table and you're like, oh, great. And you go home and you have eight bites and you're like, I don't understand what happened here. So I'm it's actually a, grateful for this it's information. It's a siren call. It's a beacon. <laughs> to dab. It's a campfire I'm for like, them. I saw the headline. And I'm like, yeah, you're going to tell us this right at the end of summer, aren't you? You really, you just timed it to the end of summer. You ever accidentally give yourself a pep talk? Like you hear yourself talking about something, you start getting more and more excited about mm -hmm. it. I'm really excited about this concept. It's not original to me at all. But about deciding to be merciful and compassionate, starting with the people closest to you. Yeah. It might be two or three people. Mm-hmm. Somebody you work with, maybe your boss, probably your family, if you got family in your home. But those people, your roommates. I love the intentionality of it. Yes. And the tangible, it's tangible. It's not this big thing of loving your quote unquote, all those people out there. It's right in front yes. of you. Yes, it's yeah. much easier to just love people in general. Yeah. But to be specific, what would that be like if everybody was listening to this, you and everybody else is listening to this? Well, that, yeah, I'm gonna do that. That's called loving your neighbor. Yeah. They're the closest neighbors. I mean, just start there. It's the intentionality. It's the deciding. I'm going to be merciful. Really, a lot more merciful with these people nearest me. I just want to make something clear. Got a note here from Virginia, and she said, uh, Brant, I'm with you. I think pumpkin spice is overrated. Mm -hmm. And I appreciated that. Virginia's very nice, but you're not actually quoting what I said. Oh, boy. I didn't say pumpkin spice is overrated. You see, Virginia... <laughs> that would be a very reasonable position. Yes, but that's not what we do here no, in broadcast. No, 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 yeah. no. It's a hot take. <laughs> Overrated. I mean, that's 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 reasonable. Reasonable. Yes. Um, but what I'm doing here is by taking a hot take, mm -hmm. and that causes buzz to happen. It yes. increases listenership. People. You have to drain it of all its reason. Right. <laughs> and I went straight for my position, Virginia, which is no one actually likes. No one mm -hmm. likes any pumpkin spice products. Okay. Really, it's all hype. Mm -hmm. There's not a single person. And if you're thinking, well, that's not a very moderate. That, you're right. Yeah. 
You're right. Okay. Brian, how could you possibly prove that? It it's broadcasting, the po- the ladies point and gentlemen. Is, it's broadcasting, <laughs> and I have a hot take. So, yeah. We were talking about being more merciful, like deciding to be more compassionate and merciful with the people who are nearest to you. Maybe your own family, the two or three people that tie, like, maybe more, if you have yeah. more family, like, but that would be the opposite. If we did that, that would be the opposite of hypocrisy. Mm. So many people can get on stage and be wonderful, but then the people around them, you find out like, it, yeah, that doesn't, <laughs> so inverting that. Yeah. No, I'm gonna be more merciful with the people in my closest private life. It's not gonna be like, I love people, I love the church. Yeah. In theory. Mm-hmm. No, no, the people nearest you, it'd be great. Somebody got to know you and they found out, oh my goodness, this person's more that way mm-hmm. in private than they are in public. Just a word for one of our wonderful sponsors, America's Christian Credit Union. Uh, Sherry and I both use this. Yes, and they're awesome. On my scale, I trust them a lot. Mm-hmm. And I'm backing this up with my, on my level. Yeah. Like, hey, I believe in them. And one thing I love about them is the return rates, like on a savings account. It's awesome. It's it's beating everybody. It's really good to look into this. If you want to check it out, just go to my website. It's branthanson.com. You can click on the Christian Credit Union thing there. And we thank them for sponsoring yes, the podcast. Thank you. How to be at peace when everybody else is anxious and angry. And this is kind of an election season emphasis. Just wanted to talk about this because it's a, election anxiety is apparently a thing. They're writing articles about it and that stuff. Just want to remind you of some stuff. And me too, in the process, remind myself. Mm-hmm. Uh, God's not worried about anything. <laughs> That's true. He's not up there like, oh boy. wonder what they're going to do. No, not at all. And it's not like God didn't see this coming. Or, and the idea that we're in this historically exceptional period not really not really humans have been at risk and peril like for millennia worse than this much worse oh than this. yeah trusting god it's not to say that things aren't important now they are very important but this is where the whole trusting thing actually matters right that'd be it when, when you're like i don't know what's gonna happen okay god's not worried Oh, look at this. We have breaking animal news. News that is just breaking. I'm, I'm being told it's about a kitten at a <laughs> car wash. Who's telling you this, Grant? You're being told. Who's saying it? I'm holding my ear. You're earpiece. holding your ear, I see, but there's nothing What's in that? There. A kitten uh-huh. from a car wash <laughs> in southwest Ohio uh-huh. was rescued. Uh-huh. Employees found a drenched white and orange tabby in the turbo blaster section of the wash. He was drenched and visibly shaken. But the he's turbo okay. Blaster, he should have been dry. Uh, an employee That's brought him. The turbo blaster dries, right? Good point. <laughs> Hold your ear and get another. Well, I'm being told that maybe he wasn't in that section very long. An employee brought him into the office and dried him off. The Humane Society took him in and named him Turbo Rinse. Turbo oh, for short. Yes, yeah. And Got that's it. a, it, it's just a. It's an interesting story to be breaking. It makes you emotional. No. A drenched kitten. No, Brand, I'm not emotional. A drenched about. kitten. No. Wow. <laughs> Ice cold, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> just a little reminder for you, um, and we'd like to do this from time to time. Keep going. Don't get tired of doing good stuff in your life. I know a lot of people won't, like, None of us have a lot of people that are encouraging us all the time, like to keep doing it. But if you're serving people, it may be your family, it may be your mom or dad, it may be students that you teach, and it may be hard, it may be tough. Don't, don't stop, don't stop. It's not a waste of time. Uh, Sometimes you don't see the fruit in the same season that you're working the field, you know? Yeah. Uh, So keep it up. Would you? Thanks for thanks for being faithful. Uh, you deserve more encouragement, but we'll do what we can. We got sports coming at us uh, from all directions. All directions, a it, lot of sports. Yeah, so I have a, a rules tweak idea for the NFL. I keep coming up with rules tweaks. They keep ignoring them. I was going to say, have they taken any of your nope. suggestions? They went but to this goofy your... new kickoff thing, which I didn't suggest. I didn't see that. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Brace yourself. All anyway, right. <laughs> how about this? Crossword puzzles that go online when the game starts. And the players... Players play don't them. do them. I do. Like, people, the fans, 
we do a crossword puzzle. First person to get the crossword puzzle finished yeah. gets to award three points to the team of his or her choice. <laughs> and this this helps how? A, what? I'd like to participate, but I, I don't really want to really watch, watch the game. The game sure. And secondly, <laughs> I could see myself being carried off on people's shoulders. Oh, I see. A parade for you it for that us, extra three it points. Gives <laughs> word people a role in all this. People are anxious and angry. That's kind of the culture that we're in, and election season really brings it out. We know that. So, we're talking about peace, various reminders of how to actually live at peace. One of those things is I have to remind myself I'm supposed to be for people, no matter what, whether they hate me or not. There's scripture in Jeremiah when it talks to the to God's people um, who are in exile. And it says, build houses and settle down, plant gardens and eat what they produce. And this is among people who are exiled, yeah. like marry and have sons and daughters. But it says, also seek the peace and prosperity of the city to which I have carried you into exile. Pray to the Lord for it, because if it prospers, you too will prosper. Look. That was a really tough situation, but, but God is saying, here's how I want you to exist in that. Yeah. You're still for your neighbors. They may not be for you, but you're still for them. So maybe it works, maybe it doesn't, but honestly, we want this show to be refreshing. We talk about that, the, the station, we want it to be refreshing. And that can sound like a commercial or something like refreshing drink. It's crisp and refreshing. And yeah. Remember the old tea commercials where they would fall backward into a pool? Oh, yes. Yeah. Big splash. It's so refreshing. Sure, yeah. Is that us? <laughs> no, that's, they don't do that anymore. We're like, trying to do. Yeah. Everybody be like, wait, my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to just fall back with a two fool. <laughs> yeah. So anyhow, my point was I saw this proverb and it said a generous person will prosper. And if you refresh others, you'll be refreshed. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. There's a lot of depth there about being a source of refreshment. So that's not just for us. It's for everybody. I always forget to, to mention this. You may not care, but you might. I don't know. If you want to hang out or something or say hi, I'm going to be speaking at uh, Topeka Grace Community Church. Okay. Sunday, September 8th. Great. Sunday morning. All right. So that's Topeka, Kansas, if you're in the area. And then that's also... This coming Sunday, by the way. Yeah, uh -huh. this coming Sunday. So maybe you hear this and it's already passed. and. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh, no, I miss my... <laughs> but you might. You know. And then um, also, I'm going to be speaking at Edgewater Alliance Church. This is September 28th and 29th. Okay. And I'm really looking forward to that. That's Where's in, that? That's in Florida. Okay. It's on the coast, east coast, kind of mid-Florida. Okay. I think. Uh, so, So yeah, if you're in the area, Edgewater, and all you have to do is go to Edgewater Alliance dot... Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, really, a, it's a top-notch organization truly, we're running here, guys. Truly the worst. Yeah. Edgewateralliance.org. Okay. And they'll have the info for you if you're interested. But, yeah, it would be fun to hang, and I'll be talking about... Um, Stuff. About... Are you um, speaking once there, twice there, or what? More than once. Okay. And I'll be talking about, um, like, living a life not anxious. Mm -hmm. Based on my book, Life is Hard, God is Good, Let's Dance, at, at Edgewater, among other things. And then... The, the one at Topeka, I'll be talking about the men we need. Great. So, yeah, looking forward to it if you're interested. The Brand and Sherry Oddcast, sponsored by America's Christian Credit Union. To find out more about the show, go to BrantHanson.com.